All right, welcome back to the channel, BS Gang. Um, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Huge shout out to the members. Thank you for joining the channel. If you want to join the channel, go ahead and hit that join button. And it, it greatly help out the channel and myself. But I know I'm late, guys. I know I'm late. Um, I was asleep. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was asleep. And it was kind of like, it wasn't too much in the update notice anyway. So I just decided to skip out on making a video but the most important things that happened were we're getting technically four new characters in a banner right so we got jericho both halloween roxy and shin and then we also are getting finally red king now um he's gonna be free so he's not really i'm not really concerned about him even if he wasn't for free i wouldn't have been concerned right what is like a big big uh it's not like a big kind of fuck you it's just a huge surprise that came to everybody right so what's most shocking is we're getting halloween roxy and shin now that's the biggest surprise because i know in the um the dev notes they did say they were gonna try and keep banners the same or maybe even better but they didn't really mention these two coming out, right? So it's it's kind of shocking. I'm not, I don't think it's a, you know, the worst thing ever, but it is kind of just shocking to, you know, see these two come out out of nowhere. But, but that's not even like the biggest thing. The biggest thing is they're putting Halloween um, Gold there on the banner. So not only are we going to have Roxy Shin, we're going to have Gold there. So that's four units, right? Four summonable units that's going to be on the banner. Well, technically five, but King doesn't really like count because he's free. But, yeah, we're getting four summonable like characters, which is insane. And one of which is the best unit in the game, right? Halloween Gother. So, I'm like, uh, how, are we, how are we supposed to skip this, right? How are we supposed to skip a banner with such value? Well, I will say this, right? <laughs> the one Escanor comes out within what? Oh, two weeks? Two weeks from now? Let me let me check. I believe it's two weeks from now. Yeah, li literally two weeks. Um, <laughs> so it, it's kind of like, do you want to summon on a banner? Because they drop for me the second. So they drop for me the second, which means I would have you know like 14, 13 days to get um, you know gems. That's not enough to get 900 gems. So currently, I'm sitting at like 500, 560 something gems, and I don't really, I didn't really even buy any gems. That's just me like grinding up. I, I think I bought the monthly diamond pack. Um, I bought like 10 gems here and there, but most of that is free to play gems from just PvP. So, by the time the one Escanor comes out. I'll probably have maybe 700, then I only need to buy 200 gems to go ahead and do a full rotation, which is really, really nice, because going like 1,800 gems on banners like that is just like killer, man. It, it, it sucks. But this banner, I don't know, man. I really don't know if this banner is all worth going for, in my honest opinion. Maybe if you're free to play, you might want to skip this. I, I think if you don't spend anything in the game... This is a skip because even though Halloween Gother is on the banner, he, he isn't like featured or anything. These four will probably be featured, right? Jericho King, Roxy Shin, they'll probably be featured. Halloween Gother isn't. So I, I, that's one reason if you, you know, trying to find a reason to skip, there you go, right? Um, another reason to skip would just be because we don't know how the banner is going to work. Now, my boy, um, amazing, shout out to him. He did say... If the banner is how it always is, where every multi is 10 loyalty points, you would need to do 10 multis to get um, Roxy, right? You would need to do 10 multis to get Roxy, uh, assuming it's the same, which means you would have to go the full banner, I believe, right? You would have to go one rotation to get guaranteed Roxy and a guaranteed Jericho, and then you would have to go ahead and do another rotation to get Shin. And then another Jericho. So that's basically that's two Jerichos, one Shin and Roxy for uh, 484 gems. Which, if he is right, that's a lot of gems. I 
don't think you guys should if you're again if you're free to play i don't think this would be the smartest move although the banner does have a lot of value if it is the same if it is the same as jp's where they'll have you know the archangels because they did say they're gonna try and keep the banners the same um oh man see that's when it gets hard man that, that's when it gets tough because this is like the ultimate bait banner. They know we're going to want the one Escanor. So they drop this. Which is like insane, right? If they weren't coming out. If Roxy, Shin, and Gother weren't on the banner. I would say skip this entirely. Um, Jericho's good. But unless you really heavily invest into her. She isn't like crazy or anything like that. But the fact that we're getting two. Well, three limited units on one banner is actually it's actually really good right it, I, I can't lie i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys saying like it's shit no it's really really good oh man it just becomes the fact that if you want to spend 484 gems assuming um the boy amazing is right now if they change it and it's like every multi is you know 30 gems equals 30 points that would be good because you would only have to do three well four uh four summons to get roxy guaranteed which would be nice right and then you would have to do what is it another four to get shin guaranteed and you know that basically just be eight but i think it is going to be 10 points now that i look at it because guardian jericho right the the new one is guaranteed on every 10th step and they do they probably will want you to go to the 10th step so it probably will be 10, um, 10 points for every multi. That that's that is a lot of gems. I mean, the good thing about it is what is it? It's only 242 gems for one rotation, which I might do. Like thinking about it, if Ludo if, if Ludo's on the banner, I am definitely doing one rotation. Like that is I, I probably will definitely do one rotation. I'll probably what stream it a little bit, maybe like a I don't know, maybe like a 10 minute stream or something like that, and then we'll definitely summon for him. Cause I do want ludo even though he wouldn't be featured but there's a chance right there's still a chance but um if you're a light spender dolphin whale you know shark fish i don't know whatever you want to call yourself right i mean sure right go ahead and summon on it. it it is a good banner it has a lot of value but if you're free to play and you're like heavily thinking about skipping keep in mind that the one comes out on the 15th and he is pretty much the best unit in the game and I will say this about Roxy. Roxy is good, but she's green. And right now, since Sario's out, she'll get her butt clapped by him. So I don't know how, like, good good she'll be. But her skills are absolutely amazing, by the way. Her skills are very, very good. Roxy's probably the best out of the bunch, if I had to say so. Because of her skills. Her skills are insane. So first off, her passive increases the attack related stats of this hero in the battle by 15% for each ally of the same race. So I think you get a max of 45% if every single person on the team is a human. But it might be like if you have two goddess clan members and then she's there, it could be 30% because say Sario and um, goddess Elizabeth right, you'll get a 30% increase to attack related stats because they both will be um, the same race. I think that's how it works, but I'm not sure, so correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But then her um, her skill one isn't really that crazy. It just cancels stances. It can help against, like, uh, Estorosa, Tarmio, and just people who use stances all around, right? But it won't really help you against Droll because it doesn't remove buffs. And then she also has this. This is her best skill. Her AOE charge. Now, if you guys, you guys know, you guys know Lost Vein. This is the same card that Lost Vein has, and it's very, very strong. It is very, very strong, especially since if you do keep this passive, right, each ally of the same race, and then you get 15%. Um, let's say you're all human. That's a 40, what, 45% increase to its attack related stats. That's more than Green um, Gother gives you on his passive. So keep that in mind. And at base level one, she already has 71% pierce rate. You add a 45% increase to that, you're looking over 100% pierce rate. And then you have, look at this, 20% at base. And then 45%, that's literally what? What is that? 60, 
65% crit chance. I'm, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but I think so. You're looking at a good good amount of crit damage as well. She's she's insane, man. I do think she probably is um, the best one. And then it'll be probably Shin that's next. Because Shin, I actually am excited if I do end up pulling and I do go the whole way and get Shin. I am actually excited to play with this Shin. I don't think he's like, oh my god, top tier, you need to summon for him. But he's pretty fun. I think he's actually really, really fun. I like his skills, the way they look, because he he guarantees a critical strike when you attack someone with a debuff. And then he has spike, which is absolutely broken. Um, so yeah, keep in mind that he does have spike. And his crit damage is already good at level 1 base, 160. Now, I think it is on the lower side of things. If you are a crit based unit, you probably want to see 180. 170 is good, but 180 is where I'm like, okay, now we're now we're talking, right? 180 crit damage is, is just absolutely insane. But um, yeah. So hero laser, right? The spike damage, and then you're basically times that by two, which is insane. And then he has blockade. That's what they call it on global. They have they call it blockade, right? So you can only use rank one skills for one turn that is insane that is insane so not only does he proc his own passive he also can do massive damage on this because he'll crit so i don't know man i think shin is second to roxy i don't think that he's better than her simply because he is dependent on his um his crits and he doesn't have good crit chance you can kind of think of him in a way as levi yeah you can kind of think of him as levi right just he's better because he will crit guaranteed when they're debuffed. Whereas Levi only crits whoever has the uh, lowest amount of HP. So if he's not critting, he's not doing damage. Um, and his ultimate is very, very good. So keep that in mind as well. It has shatter. If this is six out of six, it's game over for literally anybody. Because if they're debuffed and he does a critical hit, it's over. It's it's over. But um, yeah, he won't be relevant for too long anyway. Because again, the one's coming out. So keep that in mind as well again he will be for free so you don't have to worry about red fat king i mean if you pull him you pull him but um it is what it is at that point again if you want to summon go ahead i'm not going to sit here and i'm not going to say don't summon but i i highly suggest if you are free to play go ahead and skip i don't really think there's any reason to summon on this banner besides the fact that there's new units and golfers on it but at the same time he is not Featured. Keep that in mind. He will not be featured, or at least that's what I I'm assuming. Since um, these four are going to be the main, having five featured units, it wouldn't, it couldn't be. There's no way they would. If, if he is featured, right? If he is featured somehow, that that would be the like a major W. Five featured units, but then again, it'd be five featured units. So you have the same rate of pulling him as these four, but at least he wouldn't be unfeatured, you know what I mean? And hopefully they do keep Ludosio on the banner. Um, I don't think they're going to have Sario Tarmio on the banner, but we will see, right? We definitely will see. And then um, Jericho's getting buffed too as well. So I don't know. I, I think this counts for the red one as well, but they're getting buffed. So that's that's nice. But yeah, that that's pretty much it. Um, I'm... I'm I don't know, man. It, it is hard because it does have such value, but at the same time, it's the ultimate bait banner because they know the one's coming out in two weeks, and none of these units really, like, cuck the one, in my personal opinion. Maybe Jericho, if you do work on her, because Jericho can actually do some massive damage to him, but he is blue, so keep that in mind. As long as you have a good setup with her, um, she actually can be very, very good against him. I'm not even going to lie, even though she's red. But the problem is you need to heavily invest in her, and most people won't do that. Roxy might be good against him, but um, he, he does... Man, he's he's just an absolute beast. And then Shin... No, Shin just gets... No. Shin gets cream pied, and no. So, it's up to you guys whether you want to summon or not. I just strongly suggest skipping if you are free to play. If you do spend money and you know you'll, you know have around 900 or will accumulate to 900 you know be pretty damn near close um go ahead and skip i mean i mean go ahead and summon i mean go ahead and summon go ahead and summon um it's your gems so do whatever you want guys but um you, you can't complain because we kind of wanted this from global like global team i'm not mad i just wish they would have like said something instead of making it a surprise but i, I think it's 
I, I think it's a pleasant surprise. I, I, I do think it's a pleasant surprise. I don't think it's kind of this like, oh my god, they just released... They couldn't have just released um, the one now, right? I think it's actually just just really nice for the players. So, um, yeah, let me know if you guys are going to summon down below in the comments. I do want to know if who's summoning, um, why you're summoning, etc., etc. Although, I can already see that most people are going to put uh, Gother or, you know, the thick thighs on Jericho and Roxy. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. As always, guys, I'll see you all next time.